You know what, George? I've been thinking about you the other day. You've been out gallivanting around. How's it going? I haven't talked a lot to you outside of business. <laughs> That's it. That is social media on the bad side. Hey, Don't do good. that. That's not good. <laughs> so at the 2016 CHA Mega Show in Anaheim, California, Rich and I did a program called Digital Marketing. We talked about all the things that you have to do to be digitally connected to your customers. See, what just happened there is digital marketing is an online cocktail party. That's it. And Rich asked me a question and I did not respond. And that's what happens every time a customer says something on your Facebook page or your Instagram or any place online and you don't respond. See, here's how it works. The goal is to listen, interact, react, and sell. Listen means you're reading what the customer is posting, what they're writing. Interacting means they say something, you respond. They post something, you click like. Reacting is when they ask you a question or when they say something snotty and you need to react. And then finally, you can sell. About every sixth to ninth post, you can sell merchandise. But if you're just going sell, 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 product price, product price, product price. You're in trouble. You're in trouble because nobody wants to interact with you that way. So that was the focus of our digital marketing program. We talked about various things. We talked about websites, for example. Your website today needs to be interactive. It can't just be an online brochure with pretty pictures and lots of copy because no one cares. <laughs> it <laughs> needs, they don't care. It needs to be. Entertaining. Right, photos and project sheets and class calendars and ideas and testimonials and it needs to be a place particularly for younger generations because they get bored really fast it needs to be a place for me to go and spend a lot of time looking at all the wonderful things that are happening in your store actually a you good know? energetic Facebook uh, yeah, website I mean can create the perception that everything in the store is exactly the same way it's a great selling tool exactly but you know what we said there's one mistake retailers make on their on their website that you just absolutely cannot make any longer and I hope that some of you who were in the session are watching now and said I don't know I know exactly what you're talking about and I took care of it and it's a frequently asked questions tab we hear it all the time why would I have to call on the phone and be put on hold to wait to get an answer or in the middle of the night when you're not open I can't get an answer to the question a frequently asked questions tab at the top of the website tells them that you care enough to treasure their time and make it easy to That's do right. business with That's you. That's right. So your website needs to be interactive. Is it? Because it needs to be. Better be. Second thing, email blasts. Are you doing email blasts? Because we talked about that a lot. How to do them, what to do, when to send them. They need to be 20 second reads. That means that I look at your email blasts and within 20 seconds or less, I can figure out what you're selling and what it's, what's important and why I need to read it. In 20 seconds or less, I'm looking at more pictures, big pictures, and less copy. If you're doing copy, 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 and the customer has to scroll down. Boring. Right. They don't, they don't scroll down. They hit delete. And you have to send them out free frequently don't you Rich Kaiser? And not only that but that that subject line has got to define what the content of the email message is. If it doesn't you lose. Because and you're right George. People, lots of people buy just from your subject oh, line. Oh they do they either make a decision open, open or distant and here's the point you have to be out in the email contact arena at least for every five to fifteen days with your customers mm -hmm. every five to fifteen days they ought to be impacted by your business if you're waiting any longer than fifteen days people are forgetting about That's you right. and we hear that all the time why didn't they come to my store to buy it because they forgot about you they're and busy. there are so many messages that lives. are coming exactly okay so then we talked about social medias we know that you need to be on Facebook because Facebook is still the number one place for all generations older and younger to go Facebook is important there was a survey done and they found out that 87 percent of consumers want to interact with the brands that they like via Facebook so you need to be there but here's the thing Facebook has changed it's no longer just a fun place for an organic reach <laughs> your Facebook business page is now pay to play and if you're not spending at least a dollar a day on Facebook you're missing the boat the second biggest one that we talked about you need to be is Pinterest because Pinterest, what do you always say? Crack cocaine for women. It's like crack to women. <laughs> Three hours minimum. Oh, right? yeah, we can spend hours on Pinterest. So you need to be there and you have wonderful projects and ideas and things that you want to share with people. Put your pictures on Pinterest, yeah. watermark them first. The next one, you want to go to Twitter. Twitter is where people go for right now news. What's happening in the world? What's trending? It's still not really a big place to sell or for businesses, but it is a great place to go and talk and interact with your customers. And it is the customer. 
customer service proving ground oh, of the day. Absolutely. People aren't calling any more big companies and they're not emailing. They're going on Twitter when they're unhappy. I did it today with our bank. Our bank annoyed me. I called them today and it was seven minutes. I sent them a picture on my phone. Seven minutes before I could get to a live person. And I still didn't get to a live person, but I digress. Instagram. You I digress. Instagram. Did they respond to you? Not yet. Bad. That's bad, bad. That's bad. I'm going to do it again. Instagram. It's the place where younger people go, and Instagram lets you show a photo, a, a photo scrapbook of your store. So take them behind the scenes, show them what it's like to put freight out, what it's like to put a class together. Take them to the CHA show and other places that you go. Take them on field trips, but you want to you want to be on Instagram because that's the hot place now, particularly for younger customers. I'm telling you what, in the last seven years, our world has turned upside down. Digital marketing is now mainstream marketing, yes, and you've got to be on the ship. It is. Oh, so that was a great three-hour program at CHA in Anaheim. But now we're here to talk about a program that we're doing in April. A webinar. Uh, yes, April 27th. We're doing a webinar called Think Like a Brand, Act Like a Retailer. Retail. And I don't care if you are a retailer, if you're a designer, if you're a service provider or a manufacturer, you need to attend this program. Because we are going to show you what it takes to build a brand, the components it takes, what it means. We're going to talk about top of the mind awareness and how to pinpoint exactly who you want to be in your marketplace to your customers and your community we're going to show you exactly how to do it this branding thing is more than your name and it's more than a logo and it's really important it's emotional content yes, really if you think about it tiffany's the gap who makes their products who cares? who cares? It's about the brand and about who they are the person that goes to Starbucks doesn't go to Starbucks just to get a cup of coffee they go there to get 10 minutes to sit down, shut up, and have my cup of coffee and enjoy myself. At least a lot of people do. You know what? It's all about the brand experience. It's not about the product. Mm -hmm. The product is the byproduct of right. the experience of what the brand stands for in the marketplace and in the mind of every customer. Because at Starbucks, everyone sells coffee. I can get coffee anywhere, but I can't get it the same way Not that I get way. it at Starbucks. So it's about the emotional experience. And we're gonna show you how to build an experience in your store, in your business, that your competition cannot replicate, that puts you head and shoulders above everyone else. We call that top of the mind awareness, and you'll own that if you attend this webinar. Yes, you will. So it's April 27th, think like a brand, act like a retailer, but we don't care if you're a retailer, if you're a designer, whatever you are at CHA, you're going to want to attend this webinar. Don't we promise. Miss it, really. Don't, miss, Don't it. miss it. So I'm George Ann. And I'm Rich. And we look forward to talking with you soon. Very soon.